So the last time I did the London Marathon, it took me 17 days. I'm trying to shave days off and go and do it actually on the race day. I'm Claire Lomas and I'm doing the London Marathon um, in my wheelchair and in full motorcycling gear as well. In 2007, my life changed in a split second and I was left paralysed from the chest down from a horse riding accident. And I had to rebuild my life really, everything came to a grinding halt. Eventually I found new things to do and new challenges and one of the things that I've done is fundraising. In 2012 when I did the London Marathon I didn't get a medal off the organisers because they'd made a new rule that you had to finish on the race day and obviously I was 17 days too late. Um, and Matthew Pinson put on Twitter, would anyone donate Claire a medal? And at the end he presented me with a box of medals of uh, about 18 in there from runners that had worked hard to get to the finish line themselves and then handed it to me. But this year I'm going to try and get my own medal if I can get there in time. I'm doing it in biking gear because I have learnt to ride a motorbike after being paralysed. I hadn't ridden a bike before and I go out and go on track days now. My training has been going really well when I haven't got the leathers on, but when I put the leathers on it's a different thing altogether. It's like pushing through deep mud. In a wheelchair I can't just train anywhere so I use a section of road that's relatively flat and I just go up and down there for what seems like ages but eventually uh, I cover the distance I need to do. All those little distances put together builds up to a marathon in the end. I think you know, we can all doubt ourselves at times and wonder if it's actually possible, have we taken on too much? Um, you know, I'm considering that at times when I get in the gear and struggle um, but actually once you get out there it's just going with a never give up attitude and giving it your all and just going with a positive mindset.